Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Glitch Super Mario World. Uh, so I'm back in Vanilla Dome 1 just to grab a flower. I forgot I got the midpoint here, but it shouldn't matter because there's still a fire flower coming up. Oh my god. <laughs> I've, I, this was the only level I could think of on the way back that had a fire flower like in it, convenient for me to get. Alright, uh, but anyway. So I guess the game plan this time is to like finish up World 4. Um, I know I haven't done Star World 3 yet, I'll get to that eventually, but I want to show something in Butterbridge 1 that I didn't get to show last time, actually, uh, with my power-ups here. So basically, normally when you collect a power-up, uh, like a transformation power-up off-screen, well, <laughs> like if you're touching the top of the screen, basically, when you collect a transformation power-up, um, you're like, <laughs> it, it skips the animation for the transformation because... I guess because the game is just like, well, he's off screen, so we don't need to show the animation, so it just skips it. Um, and you could actually use that to your advantage uh, in like a TAS, maybe. Like it only saves a few frames, and it's kind of like hard to do, but I don't know. Uh, but anyway, where was I going with this? <laughs> right. So <laughs> in this level, in most levels, if if you collect a power up like off the top of the screen. Uh, it'll do that, it'll skip the animation. But in this level, I guess because it's an auto-scrolling level... Here, I'll have a chance to show it coming up right here, because the camera's gonna move downward. Okay. Boom! Okay, so... Because I was touching the top of the screen when I collected the power-up and, like, transformed, uh, the game froze. And I guess that's because it's an auto-scrolling level, so, like, the camera is, like, weird, and, like, it can't decide whether or not to show the transformation, so it just gets stuck. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the game freezes, the music keeps going, it's really more of a soft lock, I guess. Um, I can still pause the game. Uh, also, if you stick out Yoshi's tongue, or try to, you can hear the noise for his tongue, but he doesn't actually stick it out, and you can, <laughs> like, mash the button and just keep hearing it. I don't know. Uh, thankfully, since I completed this level, I can start select out, which is <laughs> lucky, otherwise I'd be like, trapped, I guess. Alright, Butterbridge 2. So this level, um, hmm. There's really not a lot to work with in this level. Like, there's really just lots of enemies, but there's not mm, a lot of like tangible stuff that I can. Uh, okay, there is a pipe. Okay, I guess what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do something with the pipe canceling glitch again, like the layer switch glitch that I showed before, whatever you want to call it, pipe canceling. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so. But I guess I'm gonna want a blue shell, so... Okay, destroy you. Oh my god, please, no! Okay. I need to just kinda get rid of all these enemies because... <laughs> I need to keep my fire flower too, I need to keep like everything. Uh, so, sorry if I'm kinda cheating here, whatever. Um... I, 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 it's kind of a weird time for me to bring up cheating since I've been doing it like this whole series. Well, cheating as in, you know... Rewinding and stuff. Alright. Um... Alright, I need to... I need... I'm trying to get the blue shell to spawn when nothing else is on screen, so that it spawns in the highest sprite slot. Okay, that'll work. So now when I go to the right, the shell should come right to me. There we go. Okay, now, uh, the reason I want the shell is because I'm gonna, once again, get the gold tape to replace the shell in Yoshi's mouth, so that I can get the gold tape in Yoshi's mouth. Yeah, you know that whole thing, I showed that before. But, if you have layer switch active, you can burn the gold tape, which I also showed before. So, what I'm gonna try to do is get the gold tape in my mouth, and then burn it, so that I can get the coin that the gold tape turns into inside my mouth. And then, from there, I can despawn the coin and get something else to replace it, and get a Super Koopa in my mouth, and then spit out the Super Okay, so, <laughs> you kinda get where this is going, hopefully. Uh, first things first, I need to do layer switch here, which is gonna be a hassle. Like, oh my god, how am I even gonna... <laughs> okay, let's figure out the camera angle. That's that's a good camera angle, alright. All right. No, 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 I screwed it up. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, I can't really duck here because the pipe... <laughs> I'll go through the pipe if I duck. Alright, here we go. This might work. Oh, did I get it? First try, really? <laughs> well, kind of first try. Uh, I might be screwed, though. What frame can I jump here? Like, no? Ok, 
Okay, I'm trying to wait for the frame where I like gain control so that I can jump immediately and j get out of danger. No, I think I'm screwed, dude. <laughs> That's so dumb. The Super Koopa is just too close. All right. Yeah, this generator, Super Koopa generators are like the worst thing ever because they're just all over the screen. They like dive down and back up. It's like they're so obnoxious to deal with. I don't know. <sighs> all right. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I need to release this at the right time. I I was so happy I got like the the frame window like first try or whatever, but I don't know. Okay. No, I had it there, dude. All right. So basically, grab the fire flower, wait a couple frames, and then press down. No, he's not gonna swallow it. God. All right. Wait a few more frames. Press down. Okay. He swallowed it. Perfect. <sighs> Thank God. Okay, now it's still tricky because, yeah, <laughs> because even though Mario doesn't have interaction with sprites, Yoshi still does. And in fact, now it's even worse because I can't stomp on enemies. I just go right through them and then Yoshi gets hit by them. So basically, every enemy is now just one giant, <laughs> like, obstacle. I get, like, I don't know, I can't even stomp the enemies anymore, so... I can eat them if I know what I'm doing, but Yoshi's tongue is really glitchy, and like he can't eat stuff that's like unless it's like level with his m face because he can't lower his head when he's stuck in this weird state. So, uh, to get my shell back, I'm gonna have to do some weird thing with the uh, like kind of like that. Uh, come on, please! Oh my God, what's going on? There's so many sprites in this level. Can I can I please get my shell back? <laughs> please. No! Oh my god, I... I don't even know, man. Okay. Blair. Okay, Blair? Uh, there is what I meant to say. Alright. Uh, if I go a little further, the generator might actually stop, because there's a... <laughs> there's like an anti-generator coming up. Like, the way generators work in this game is kind of silly. It's like... <laughs> there's just like... Well, it's not silly, but... Like, basically, there's, like, a sprite that comes on screen for, like, one frame and triggers the Super Koopa generator and then disappears. And then, later on in the level, there's another sprite that comes on screen that <laughs> gets rid of the Super Koopas and then disappears. Okay, so the reason I'm rewinding here is because Yoshi's gonna swallow the shell, and I can't drop the shell because then I won't be able to pick it back up because Yoshi's tongue won't go low enough. Yoshi's glitchy tongue that I can't, it's like, uh, I don't know. Alright, let's just fly over all this. Hopefully I can get the Super Koopa Generator to despawn, or sp whatever, stop. Um, no! Please face left, Yoshi. I, I can get him to turn around, but I'd have to dismount him, and so I'm just gonna do... This is so dumb, dude. <laughs> like, look at this mess. I don't know how to deal with this. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> Drop the shell, please. Alright. Thank god. Uh, can I even get the shell back now? Like, it's in a bad spot. I really wish these Super Koopas would just go away. Like, just stop for a second. <laughs> uh, that works. Whatever. That was weird. Thank god. Alright. Now they'll come back if I go too far to the left. There's, there's like, another generator that will get them back. Okay, I can get that in my mouth. That's good. But, uh... I don't want to because I'm about to do the glitch to, to, to fix the time limit. Uh, get infinite time. Alright, so here we go. For, let's just go. No, that's terrible timing. Whew. Oh, you know what I just realized? I have to do this frame perfect. I have to c catch it on the first frame I die, otherwise I lose my fire flower. Uh, or rather my feather, I think, and I kind of need both. I need my fire flower, definitely. Um, okay, wait, wait for it here. No, bad timing. Oh my god! Wow, this is really dumb. Like, uh, all right, I'm gonna wait until. Okay, this might be good. I can get just the right frame. <laughs> he won't swallow it because. <sighs> Alright, maybe I need to jump and swallow it that way. See, he did the glitch. Alright, maybe I don't need a feather. Whatever. Let's just hope I don't. 
And uh, what I'm going to try to do here... <sighs> Alright, I need the gold tape to replace the blue shell. It's in the highest sprite slot, which is good. But I need there to be enough sprites on screen that the gold tape will want to replace the shell. So there basically needs to be 10 sprites on screen. We've got Yoshi, we've got the blue shell, we've got like 6 Super Koopas right next to the gold tape, so that'll help. And then I'm going to try to lure two more Super Koopas over, so that should be just enough that the gold tape will replace the shell. Now, how even? Okay. Let's see, if I kind of go to the right here. Okay. No, please grab the shell. Oh, no, I don't need to fry Yoshi. I need you to grab the shell, Yoshi. Yoshi and your stupid glitchy tongue. <sighs> Alright. No. <laughs> I need to, like, jump from underneath the platform, kind of, like, Wow, this is so bad. Just uh, grab the shell. <laughs> like, his tongue has to be in like such a weird position for this to work. Okay. Whoops, wait. <laughs> I can't tell when the emulator's paused because the music like stops anyway. Like, the music's gone, so it's like sometimes I'm just sitting there and I don't realize the emulator's paused. <sighs> Why aren't you grabbing the shell? You just did it a second ago. I know you can reach it from here. Wow, this is silly. I need to lure these Koopas over, so I need to keep them on screen. But I just need to grab the blue shell. Like, for the love of God. There! Okay, now. I might. Yeah, that was. I think the Koopas on the left despawned. I need to keep them on screen, kind of like that. Alright, now I'll we'll just hold forward and hopefully... Yes! Oh, thank god, jeez. So yeah, you can see I got the gold tape in Yoshi's mouth. Now what I'm going to try to do is... No, not finish the level, god. No, not burn Yoshi, god. <laughs> okay, just drop Yoshi, burn the gold tape. Okay, so now the coin is in Yoshi's mouth, you can see. When you spit it out, it looks like a yellow shell. Yeah, but... Uh, it's not. But now, better yet, I can, oh my god, I can, the coin's kind of in the way. I need, alright, I'm going to get the coin to despawn, and when I do that, no, 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 no. Uh, what am I, how am I, okay, I need to pause the game so that I can hold the Y button. Okay, then... Now, the coin despawned, and now I have a Super Koopa in my mouth. <laughs> Alright, so you can kind of see, once you get the gold tape in your mouth, um, you can get basically any sprite in your mouth that can go into the gold tape slot. Unfortunately, in order to get the gold tape to despawn so that something else can take its slot, the, o the only real way is to use Layer Switch to be able to burn the gold tape and turn it into a coin. And this isn't very vi this isn't very feasible to like use uh, as a method of stunning sprites because um, the uh, y for one thing Yoshi's swallow timer doesn't last very long and you have to have something in his mouth when the gold tape comes on screen and then you have to burn the gold tape and then you have to go back and by the time you do all that Yoshi's about to swallow the thing in his mouth which doesn't give you much time for the glitch. Uh, this level also only really has Super Koopas so I can't show much with this. Uh, and, because of layer switch, I have no interaction with the sprite. So even after I spit it out, there's nothing I can do with it. it. Like, I don't know. There's nothing interesting I can do with it because I can't interact with it. So, luckily, <laughs> later on, we figured out another way to spawn, or to stun sprites. Uh, to get sprites in Yoshi's mouth, basically. Like, any type 1 sprite in Yoshi's mouth. It's super easy to do, and doesn't involve manipulating the sprite limit at all. And I'll certainly show that later on. Uh, now, in order to get the gold tape to respawn, I'm going to have to, <laughs> I think, go back a bit, and that should do it. Okay. There we go. Uh, I, s I can't interact with the tape itself, but I can still trigger the end of the level, which means I can't get bonus stars, but yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that's about all I can show in that level. <laughs> um, that was g really stupid. <laughs> Let's just move on. Uh, should we do one more level? I mean, Ludwig's Castle, there's really not... Why not? Let's do it. Let's do Ludwig's Castle. It might be kind of a longer video, I don't know. This, lo this level... Hmm. Uh, I have to have it. I have to go through this with a fire flower, which is kind of silly, because none of the enemies are really impervious to fire in this room. Oh my god. <laughs> wow.
Well, I really sh You know what? Screw that. I'm not gonna rewind that. Well, that wasn't fair. <laughs> Why did I rewind that? I don't need my fire flower for anything. That was just cheating. Blatant cheating. Alright, there's actually... <laughs> I might as well show this, because I'm not gonna have another chance to show it. It's not really a glitch, but there's a secret here. You can jump out here, and then there's a pipe, which leads to one of these bonus game things. But ultimately, it's not a shortcut because it doesn't skip any rooms in the castle. In fact, it's longer than just taking the door because it, you have to go through an extra room. I remember a while back, um, I forget who, I think it was like Will the Beast or something, did a TAS of this like level, I think, or like some kind of speedrun, where he went through the pipe, and then I pointed out the pipe isn't actually a shortcut at all. Um, and he's like, oh yeah, you're right. Uh, I don't know why I thought of that. Anyway, here's another silly thing you can do here. After the floor comes down, and you press the spin jump button, hear that? <laughs> it makes the, like, smashing sound effect. I don't know why. Uh, it only happens with the spin jump button. I guess because, like, the they use the same, like, sound channel for the spin jump, like, sound effect thing for the spin jump as the smash... I don't know. I'm making stuff up at this point. I don't actually know what I'm saying. This level, um, or this room, rather. <sighs> Let's see, anything to do in this room? You can climb fast if you know, like, okay. You can kind of jump off a, off of a fence on the same frame you grab it, uh, if you do it right. It's not, like, <laughs> reliable in real time at all, but... And uh, if you climb fast enough, like, without letting the camera scroll up, you can go, like, up, way above the camera. It looks really silly. Like, you would do it in a TIS, and it looks silly. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ludwig. Oh, here's something silly. If you run forward here, right there... Okay, I don't know if you saw that. Let me see if I can... Right here. See, Yoshi... Or... Uh, Yoshi. Mario is running, and then all of a sudden, right about here, all of a sudden he loses all his momentum, like he just hit a wall. Um, but there's not actually anything there, so I don't know why that happens. It's like, it's something about Ludwig... Okay, whatever, I'll just take the hit. It's something about Ludwig that, like, stops you from moving when he comes on screen or something. I don't really know what it is. Also, you can speed up the Ludwig fight if you hit him. Okay. <laughs> if you hit him in midair... Uh, I'm not doing this very well. You can hit him in midair if you time it right. I'm not... There's something flickering on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. That's weird. Okay, if you hit him in midair, uh, it skips... Wait, maybe... Maybe I'm wrong about this. I could have sworn... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It skips his, like, spinning shell phase. So it saves a little bit of time if you hit him in the air, because then he doesn't do his spinning attack after or something. I might be wrong. I Maybe I'm getting confused. The point is, it's still faster to hit him in the air, because you don't have to wait for him to land. Alright, so let's just skip past this cutscene. You know this nonsense. Let's move on. <laughs> I, did, I really didn't expect to be spending so much time on... Butterbridge 2 because there wasn't really like anything to work with in that level except for a pipe, but I managed to get something to work. So that was <laughs> that was a l kind of a longer video, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> I guess. Oh yeah, I have to press something. Well, finally done with World 4, which I'm really glad about because World 5 has some interesting stuff. Uh, I think World 5 is actually pretty good world for testing random glitches, and there's some glitches that you can, like, only do in World 5 because of, like, certain enemies and certain sprites and stuff. So I think World 5 will be pretty interesting, and World 4 was just kind of, you know, like, you know, <laughs> just an ordeal. It wasn't really anything fun, uh, in my opinion, for this series. Anyway, uh, so thanks for watching. <laughs> I guess next time we'll start on World 5, so, yeah, see you, bye.